<laughs> okay. So we didn't want to film it earlier because we thought it was a rat. Actually, it sounded like an iguana. Didn't think an iguana could fit or how it got in here. I have no idea how it got in here. But this morning, I went to go clean this hole and heard scratching up in yonder. So we have taken all this apart, all this, had the ceiling down, and we heard them up in here. And, we'll, and then we went and got some rat traps and put them out. Well, I'm just doing my little maintenance and went to go clean our shower drain. And I, I lifted up this on our side. I'm not going to do it now. And there was a giant iguana down there. So I screamed and quickly put it back down. So now Scott went to go get gloves. I have absolutely no idea how we're going to get it out. And how it got from there to there. I guess it crawls through the floor. I don't fucking know. Oh. So Scott went to go get gloves. This is going to be freaky. I'm glad it's not a rat though. I don't know. I almost, at least, I don't know. It was going to be a big rat because, like I said, it sounds like an iguana. Because it was. And get her ship shape for our next charter season. You should go and change it. If this current crazy world has made you want to sail away with us, check out our website, sailtsb.com, for more info. And you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and bell. It doesn't cost you a dime, and at the pace we put out videos, it won't annoy you either. What are we doing today, babe? Well, we are changing inverters. So, grab me a camera so I can take a picture of this. You want, like, this camera or, like, a phone camera? Or? Probably a phone camera. It's going to be... Let's go ahead and shut all the power down. With a 24 volt system so that I can install Tesla batteries. I am under the impression that they are gonna do a better job sure there. than our current batteries. Why are we under said impression? Because they seem to hold more bang for the buck despite what stats say and going to um, 24 volts from 60 volts we're gonna our amp hours are obviously gonna go up and I think, obviously and I think there's a sweet spot and I don't think 48 volts is it I honestly think that um, 24 volts is gonna be it because at 24 volts, we're going to get a thousand amp hours out of four batteries. Or here we have four main batteries, but they're eight batteries total. And we're only getting 250 amp hours at that at 50 volts. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It's all skip. Okay. So we'll report back whether this little adventure was profitable or not. Mm, pretty much, yeah. We go from one tight space to another tight space. There's the smell. I was just going to say, is that a watermark on the top?
one of the drawbacks to having such large batteries um, was obviously moving them around by yourself. Two guys could do it pretty easily, but we needed a halyard. So I lowered the battery down onto the uh, post there and then ran around to the other side and grabbed it and Holly lifted it up a little bit and then I drug it on over onto the dock where she let the halyard out right, and we dropped it on down on to the dock. I said I guess we only need to get one of these on video. It's going to get repetitive. What? Oh, great. Come on. Got all two batteries and the inverter out and ready. Captain just said, I have an idea and I don't think it'll shock me. <laughs> As he drips wet. Get off? Yeah. Okay. So I'm installing another battery monitor shunt uh, while I've got the inverter out. We're going to drop the new inverter in, get it all buckled up, and get the batteries hooked up. So the main thing I really, really like about these Tesla batteries is, besides the power output is I can actually lift them by myself and weigh about if I had to guess it's heavy weight between 60 and 65 pounds. What are you hitting? Um, BMS. Actually it's a let cell balancer. What can I do? Watch the hole. <laughs> and they stack nicely. Just like that. Just like so. So this makes three and four to yep. your system. This is numbers three and four, that is correct. I welded these ends on, or soldered these ends on here, and that just wasn't the greatest idea. So on this one, I just soldered the pins directly to the controllers and gave a controller to each battery. This was so that I could take the controllers off and take them to different batteries, but for 12 bucks, leave the controller on there. It's not worth taking it off. And the other thing is, is that these are my battery balancers. And while I use my Victron and my dash panel over there for <clears throat> being able to monitor the batteries. I can go out every once in a while, turn this thing on, leave it running for a few days, and it'll balance these cells out. Can you open that hatch? So, the mess you see in here. This is where I put the brackets in, or pieces of wood in, to support the other batteries. And what I'm thinking with these batteries is they're going to be better off laying straight flat down because it'll give me an extra uh, inch of room and I might be able to stack three of them in here. Lift up on it and let it down slowly. It's not going to get your fingers because it doesn't go that deep. Okay. Brought to you by. Probably not going to be able to hear anything over the fan.
too much shit. Not enough space. Okay. So, I need something. Oh shit, here they come. We're gonna race against close the mosquitoes. Can we close this door too? Yeah. Race trying to get the We're not far from having the battery or getting the battery. Should be able to at least turn the power back on. So the 12 volts are running off this little battery over here. Testing. Grabbing him his phone so he can call me from the compartment and test them out. Okay, uh, no, they're both okay. All of them are on right now. All of them are on. Uh huh. This is very interesting. Now the two are the bottom two are three or four are at zero. But they're lit up. They were they were at a hundred. What's four at now? Zero. Huh? Zero? Voltage? Everything. Percentage. Everything every number okay, now it says two point twenty four point five volts. Now it went up to a hundred percent. Now three's at a hundred percent. I can have to just unplug them like this. What was that one? That was four that just went out. Three just went to zero. Okay. Now four is at zero. A three is at zero. Or zero percent is 24.6 volts. Okay, how about now? Um, they're both still at zero. 24.6. What, what's the voltage across the battery bank? Um, it says 24.6 volts plus 4.13 amps. No, just voltage. That's all I need. Starting at 1. Oh, at 1, 24.6. 2. 24.7. 3. 24.6. 4. 24.6. <laughs> Are any of them flashing? Uh, yes. Well, three and four are flashing. Nine is solid lit and two is solid dim. Okay. Thank you. It's reprogramming the solar. Or rewiring the solar or reconfiguring the solar or whatever you got to do with the solar to match your new 24 volt system. I have to take panels out of series and put them all in parallel. You don't have to do anything to them physically. You have to just take the wires and unplug and plug. Unplug and plug. What about programming the Victron? You're all done with that? Yeah, programming the Victron's about 90%. I got some tweaking to go, but I got to see where we are once we're at sea or at anchor. So currently we are running on short power. <laughs> I knew that was coming. When we leave the dock, we will be running on four Tesla batteries. So how many, how many uh, amp hours and volts and all that fun nerdy stuff that people are going to want to know about? Two hundred and fifty-two amp hours at twenty-four volts for a total of just over a thousand amp hours. And I've got room to add two more batteries. Should I need to? Okay. But we'll see how long these run and what they run first, and then we'll go from there. What does this mean to me? Am I going to be able to run more stuff at once without blowing breakers? No. That's all called power management because Leopard built it like that. Okay. So am I going to be able to have. Can't run water heaters and air conditioning through the night. I, that is the that is the goal, yes. Now I gained amp hours or ampacity by installing or dropping from the 60 volt system down to the 24 volt system. But did I gain efficiency? No, probably not. So we'll, we'll see. 
if the ACs don't run as long at 24 volts with 1,000 amp hours as they did at 60 volts with 600 amp hours. We'll see. So what happens if they don't? We got to go back to the old batteries? Yeah, we stack two more Tesla batteries. <laughs> of course. At 1,000 apiece. Uh -huh. Okay, well, we'll All get right. back to you on that. Right now I have a thousand dollars in each battery with the BMS daughter board and solenoid shutoff. It's on each individual battery now. And as you can see, all three of them are at a hundred percent. Some of them don't like to light up. No, they don't light up when they're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. See this one? So if you know, if there is a battery 5.0 that comes out, <laughs> something went horribly awry, and it didn't work out as planned. Especially if we have a new bigger boat. Especially if we have a new bigger boat. It's a whole more battery. <laughs> dun dun dun. Without a mast. With two big motors in the back. And call it the Whipple Butts boat. <laughs> so now Scott went to go get gloves. I have absolutely no idea how we're going to get it out. And how it got from there to there. I guess it crawls through the floor. I don't fucking know. Oh. All the way in the bottom of the bilge? It's not the, the, where I, I was going to change our. our um, He's in there. Yes, the, in not. that little hole. I was just going to. Oh, come on. I got no battery here either. Jesus. Am I gonna be able to pin him? Is he on something flat? What's he saying? He's on the fiberglass. He's just but the fiberglass ain't flat, it curves with the boat. Lift that up. Ah! <laughs> my finger won't even go through that hole. Just lift it up slowly. So I very easily slid my hand down there so that he wouldn't get spooked. I tried to keep my hand behind the hose. And then I pounced on him. For a little guy, he sure was feisty. So Scott, Scott reached down and grabbed him out of the hole and um, put the gloves on and then chucked him in the water. <laughs> I'm glad it's not a rat. And I'm glad it's out. I'm not glad our boat is now torn apart, but <laughs> at least it's gone. <sighs> okay, now back to cleaning the filters. And thanks to all our patrons, we sure do appreciate you. Without you, we probably wouldn't do this.